shooting on I-20 in DeKalb County during rush hour this evening. The victim has died. He was driving an ultra-luxury car. Channel 2's Ashley Swan is live at Grady Memorial Hospital with the clues investigators are using to find the man's killer. Ashley. Aaron, that man was brought here to Grady, but sadly did not survive. He was driving a Maybach, a rare luxury car that sells for upwards of $400,000. Tonight, police are trying to figure out who he was and find the person witnesses saw shoot at him from a white SUV. That's how an unidentified witness describes what he heard moments before this rare black Mercedes Maybach valued at several hundred thousand dollars came to a stop along I-20 westbound at Glenwood Avenue. DeKalb police say drivers also called from the interstate to report actually seeing the gunfire coming from a white SUV in the middle of rush hour. Well, we potentially could have had an extremely dangerous situation. An off-duty Atlanta firefighter pulled over at the side of the stop sedan and found a man inside shot multiple times. He was taken to Grady Hospital in critical condition, but later died. At this point, we are still looking into the background of this victim and trying to positively identify the victim. Several lanes of I-20 were shut down as police investigated the crime. With the Mybox windshield wiper still going, onlookers like Daniel Chapman wondered about the person who could have afforded such a car. I guess it had to be somebody might have been to be driving that one. And who would have shot him as he drove down the road? It could have been just like um, Rose Rage, but I doubt that. I don't think they'll just shoot like that. You know, people doing strange things nowadays, and you know, if you want to chalk it up, you know what the world's coming to. Only 3,000 of these newer Mybox have been sold. Police aren't saying at this point if they believe the car played any role in this crime. We are live in downtown Atlanta with a lot of weather. Ashley Swan, Channel 2 Action News. Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Star Status Chris. Back with another video breakdown. Make sure to like the video and also make sure to jump in the comment box after the video and let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything we broke down. So for today's video, we don't get into OG Double D. He was a free band's OG under Future that pretty much, you know, was getting a serious bag out here in these streets. They had a, a big reputation that was worldwide like he he just wasn't an atlanta guy like he was you know moving around throughout the south to the west coast so he was he was definitely like internationally known he just wasn't a local hero he was well known well traveled with heavy respected basically and when he was gunned down it was always speculation of like what actually happened because the og never had a reputation for really just being a finesser and really doing bad business People that really knew the OG knew how he was really getting his money. And, and trust me, it wasn't off of finessing. You know, I, I'm just going to say that. So one thing people overlook is the connection to the connection, I would say, of the Maybach. I know you're probably saying like, OK, what do you mean by the connection of the Maybach? Now, let's just break down these type of cars. When we get into different cities, we we start to know that you know only celebrities drive certain certain cars Maybachs, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, um, drop heads like these half a million dollar cars are always associated with hip hop royalty or you know it can be just somebody that's high on the food chain. This Maybach that OG Double D was in was also a Maybach that Rick Ross had around the same time. Now people are gonna say yeah okay. Rick Ross had the same Maybach. What's the big deal on that? Not a big deal. Okay, this is the the deal. Now, I don't know if a lot of people still remember 2013, or I will say 2012, on, on well into 2013, when Rick Ross was being heavily extorted by the uh, B, BDs and the GDs because he was, you know, he had used the Larry Hoover reference in his song, and he had put his head in the uh, gang symbol. And they were on his head. They were pretty, like, it's a trial. It was a trial that happened that broke down all the lists on how heavy they were trying to extort him. And it's even been said that Rick Ross gave up some information to the police about the gang in order to, you know, get them locked up. But that's just allegedly. But back to the story. So Rick Ross, a little earlier in this year, he gets targeted down in Miami 
and it's Maybach, and it gets shot up. He end up he ends up crashing into a building, and Rick Ross leaves Miami. He leaves Miami and he heads back to Atlanta. Anybody that's that's close, like you know, the thing about the entertainment entertainment industry is people always know the know the whereabouts somewhat of the rapper. Like you might not know the house they're staying in or whatever, but people know like okay, you know, T.I. lives in this neighborhood. This person lives in this neighborhood. This person is over here. Doesn't mean you're gonna necessarily get to them, but you have an idea a general idea of where exactly they could be at. So words get back to these people that Rick Ross is back in Atlanta, and these people travel up to Atlanta to actually try to finish the deed and or to try to press Rick for some more money. One day they see this Maybach, tinted out, same color, Florida license plates. They're thinking like, bingo, we got them. So they end up pulling up on the, the, uh, the Maybach that OG is in, and they pretty much switch cheese that car up. Like, as you see in the earlier clip that I attached to this video, you can see like it was, they were trying to make sure that whoever was in that car and thinking that it was Rick in that car was not going to be able to make it out alive in that situation. So they shot up all the window panels and of course all the side panels as well. Like I said, this was a hit. Like this was, you know, they really wanted to put the pressure on Rick Ross and they thought that, you know, they had Rick Ross, but this happened to be the OG. And that's really what it was. You're like, nobody's never going to come out and say, like, this is true. And, you know, this is what really happened. Because, you know, most of the guys, they don't want to, you know, put that out there. But, you know, me being media, I'm going to put it out there. This is what happened with the OG Double D situation. If somebody can tell me different, then go ahead and tell me different. But this has been speculated for a long time with people that are in the know of like different situations that's happening in the entertainment industry that who them guys were after after that day so that's pretty much it on this video man make sure to like subscribe comment below let me know what you think of the video signing out